Oh, my staff. Oh! Ah, you must be one of the inhabitants of this wretched wasteland. Afraid not. I only just crash landed here myself. It was almost as if the Force willed it to happen. I see. Well, I must return to my own land. Seems your powers are diminished here. Well, yes. In my world, there are many objects which possess a magical aura that I can wield. But in this world, there is only my staff. In my world, the Force binds us together, penetrating all living things. But here, the only thing that binds together is me. It, it would appear that our best chance for survival would be to work together using each other's strengths. Very well. Let us climb the sand mountain, height of vantage point, and leave this wretched wasteland once and for all. All of this sand, it's coarse, it's irritating, and it gets everywhere. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, there's a person. Huh. Perhaps we should follow him. is unbearably hot. I hope my skin doesn't get cancer. What is this cancer? Oh, oh, well you see, cancer is the star sign of the crab. When your skin gets cancer, it goes all red and pinchy. Shaven. What? No, you idiot! It's Razor with a Z! Because I raise entire civilizations to the ground! We must do something! They'll surely kill him! In situations such as these, it is best to exercise caution and uh, uh, plan ahead! Do you agree? Do you agree?
Well, that was very exhilarating. Oh, indeed so, and perhaps too much so for someone of my age. Now, why were they trying to harm you, lad? Razor Pete wants to build his own empire based on strength. And to do that, he has to eliminate all weakness. I, I guess I just didn't make the cut. He thinks that the ways of the old world just have no place here. But how will he make his own empire? He has a plan to defeat the other tribes. He says that one day two great warriors will fall from the sky. He plans to kill them and take their advanced weapons to forge his own empire. What is it that he thinks that these two warriors shall come? It's an old legend. But everyone knows it's not true. But he says that they'll come, and they'll seek him out. But why will they seek him out? He claims that he has a way for them to return home. Anyway, I've got to be off and find my car. Um. What is a car? Unlike our last encounter with these savages, I really must advocate caution as we proceed this time. Even if there's the slightest chance this man can help me return home, I must take it. I am part of a great rebellion, and I cannot let my comrades down. And it is imperative also that I return to my own world. You see, the spell that brought me here was meant to take me to the pastry shop just down the road. I've waited for your arrival. Now my patience is finally paid off. Is it true that you can help us return home? I see that the weakling has spilled his guts. Yes, it is true that I can send you back to your worlds. But why would I, when I have waited so long for you to come? How did you know we would come to this place? I recognize that object you hold. It is a transportation stone. You were very observant. This is the reason you are both here. You are here because I summoned you! You monster! A hundred of my comrades would have died within the time I've been stranded here. And if I had gotten to the pastry shop earlier, I would have gotten a chocolate eclair before that all sold out! Let me make this simple. Hand over your weapons, and I will make your deaths quick and painless.
the transportation stone, and you may go in peace! Not in this world! There will never be peace! Not unless someone forces peace upon it! Someone with great power! But the thousands will suffer like the young man you are going to kill before! It's a price that must be paid! It is done. Right about here looks like a good spot. Hey guys, found my car. Oh, a car. Oh, welcome back, young lad. Razor Pete's right about one thing, you know. The world will never be at peace. It's no place to live. Peace. Uh... There are plenty of pieces of peace. I'm sorry, there's plenty of peace in my world. You are welcome to join me. Peace. My world, there is only peace of pastry. Come with me then, for the world I am from is certainly not enduring a time of peace. There is a great rebellion to fight, and I would gladly appreciate your help. All right then. Till we meet again. Farewell, noble knight. There's plenty of space on my uh, and peace. You can have a piece of pastry on my world in the space. We've got lots of space to eat. A you, you can come with me. So press the zoomy button. Sorry, repeat it again. The zoomy button. Just repeat it one more time. The digital zoom button on the handle. <laughs> but don't worry, Shasha thinks it's gone. No, <laughs> oh, why? Hey, hey, what do you think he's doing? I don't know. It looks like he's been attacked by a feral chipmunk. Yeah, more like a baboon. <laughs> what? Uh, what about the neighbours are thinking? <laughs> <laughs>